So here I am on a Sunday night. I'm ready to record a couple videos, a couple challenges, things like that. And then I check my Twitter before recording one last time and I see this tweet. I see a tweet from my dude Mark saying, Breaking, it's Wander time. And when I saw that first sentence, I think I blacked out for a solid three seconds. But he went on to say, Top prospect Wander Franco has been told by Rays he's getting called up and will join them Tuesday when they play the Boston Red Sox at the Trop. And by the amount of times I got this tweet tweeted at me, I could tell instantly that you guys were as excited as I was. So I figured today, for the first time on my entire channel's history, we're going to hop into an MLB career simulation. And the first First one that we gotta do is gonna be Wander Franco. Come on. In honor of the top prospect in all of baseball getting called up, I had to do it. So hope you guys are excited for it. Be prepared. This one's probably gonna be a long one. And hope you guys are ready. Let's hop into it. So, real quick before we fully hop into this, I gotta show some love to the people that have done this before. Of course, the goats over at NBA, King of the Fourth Quarter, and Click Productions. And then Ant is another guy that's been doing MLB career simulations. So I gotta show some love to those guys. And if you guys wanna see more MLB career simulations or re-simulations or anything like that, then be sure to either hit that like button or tell me in the comments down below. I am down to try more things. Truth be told, I've always wanted to do something like this. I just never knew if I had the time to sim through like almost 20 years into the future in this game, because that takes a long, long time to do. But for Wander, I'm down to do it. If you guys want to see more of it, I'm of course down. But of course, the fate of this entire thing is up to you guys. Either way, here we are. As you guys can tell at shortstop, we already got Wander Franco up here. Real quick though, I do have to change one thing and never mind. I can't, I cannot change his age. So I guess the guy's just going to be 18 for a little bit. It is what it is. In reality, this guy's 20 years old. Only the show has not updated this guy in two years, which is ridiculous. But yeah, in real life, he's 20. In this game, he's 18. It is what it is. It is. I can't really change it right now. I wish I could, but I wish I only did their job, to be honest. Bruh, chill. But honestly, that just means that we possibly have Wander Franco for a lot longer in this video, so I'm down. If I check it real quick, it looks like Wander's gonna be hitting second in the Rays lineup. And I gotta say, the guy looks right at home. So for the rest of the team, we got Joey Wendell, Arosa Reyna, we got Brandon Lau, we got G-Man Choi, we got Austin Meadows, Mike Zanino, and of course, Kevin Kiermeyer. The bench is pretty stacked up too, I'm excited for it. And then also, the rotation, sadly, we do not have Tyler Glass now. The guy just went down with an injury. Life's been tough, honestly, ever since that happened, because that dude is so freaking good. He's so missing that rotation, but we should be okay. I just pray he does not need Tommy John surgery. That's gonna be the biggest thing. Either way, we still got Yarbrough, we got Dig Mountain, we got Michael Walker, we got Shane McClanahan, and of course, Luis Patino. I know Patino's not on the MLB squad right now, but I just put him on there because, I mean, he's that good. Might as well. And besides that, the bullpen, we got Jeffrey Springs, we got Ryan Thompson, Peter Fairbanks, of course, Andrew Kittridge, Dio Castillo, Chaz Rowe, and Nick Anderson. And now, it's officially time. Let's sit back, relax, and enjoy this entire thing. I'm going to be checking in periodically to show you guys Wander Franco's progress and how good he's doing with the team. But without further ado, here we go, baby. Here we go. I'm about to be sitting here for a long, long time. Hope you guys are ready for it. And let's go and see if Wander Franco can bring us some World Series dubs. And here we are real quick at the All-Star game. I got a checker for year one. Wander Franco right now has had half a season in the MLB. Let's go and see if he's an All-Star real quick. I'd be very surprised. Oh my God, and he is. This dude legit just can't be stopped. Out of 88 games, the guy's got 12 doubles, four triples, and 15 home runs. He's hitting a 243. That could be a little bit better. For half the season, the guy's got a two war. Not completely horrible. I'll take it. So good job, Wander. The guy keeps going. Let's see if Wander can help the American League beat such a stacked up team with the NL. Let's see. And sadly, no, the NL is still too good, bro. They're still too nasty. Either way, right now, we're going to go and keep this thing going. There's a lot of trades happening right now. And I think for career simulations, I'm just going to let the team do whatever the heck they want to do. I'm going to go ahead and leave everything on auto, and I just want to see what happens. Because technically, I'm just watching his career happen. Like, I'm not going to be influencing anything. I'm not going to be trading anybody. It's really all about just watching Wander Franco's career just go crazy. So if the guy gets traded or signs with a different team, of course, we're going to follow him there. If the guy ends up staying with the Rays his entire career, of course, I'm going to be happy because I'm a Rays fan. But still, we're going to go ahead and stick with him no matter what. What? So I'm excited for this entire thing. Let's go and keep this thing going though. And let's see how the AI Rays actually manage this entire thing. Cause I can promise you guys one thing. It's about to be eventful. Whether that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing, we're going to find out. But my goodness, I'm not excited for that. Because after playing this game for years, I know exactly what's about to happen. I really hope it doesn't, but let's see if my suspicions are correct. As the Rays make the postseason as a wildcard team in 83 and 79. I guess the rest of the AL sucked, huh? Of course, in the awards, Wander Franco, AL Rookie of the Year. The guy went crazy. Also, Taylor Walls right behind him. But Wander ended up finishing off with a 238, 20 home runs, and six. 60 RBIs. Also, 31 doubles. Not bad for a rookie season. Also, Taylor Walls did very good too. Either way, Wander takes that and we were in third place. Wow, okay. The race being a third place team? I don't know about that one, Chief, but whatever. And we beat out the Twins by a half game. Oh my goodness. Thank God the rest of the AL sucked. Holy crap. But either way, let's go and see how the Rays do. Also, Glass down's back for the postseason. Come on. Please let that be the good luck charm. Let's go, Glass. Have a great game against Chris Sale. There we go, 3-2, absolutely beautiful. Next up, the White Sox, here we go. ALDS time versus the White Sox, lost that one. One game two that we regained. Glass not going for game three, lost that one, god dang it. And Brendan McKay, okay, my guy. I like McKay being up here, I gotta be honest. Versus Lance Lynn though, this is about to be a game right here. And we won at 72. Oh my goodness. Yarbrough, I need a great game out of you. There we go, baby. We're taking on the Yankees in the ALCS in our first season. Let's go ahead and run this thing right back to the World Series. Michael Walker, game one. That is a bold strategy. Let's see what happens. Won that one somehow. Last time versus Corey Kluber. Lost that one by a whole lot. Oh my God. Brandon McKay versus Garrett Cole. Again, bold strategy. 
Lost that one too. Ryan Yarbrough versus Jameson Tyon. Won that one, beautiful. And then McClanahan, USF legend right here. Where's Jordan Montgomery? Lefty versus lefty, game five. Won that one, seven to one. And then Glass now, possibly going up for the last game in the ALCS versus Luis Severino. Lost that one, are you kidding me? We're going to game seven. Michael Walker versus Corey Kluber. I can't watch this one, all right? I literally can't. I'm looking straight down. I can't watch this thing. Please tell me it's gonna work out. Three, two, one. Did it work? Oh my God, I'm too scared to look. I'm legit just too scared to look. Come on, man up, let's go. And we, God dang it, we lost it. I shouldn't have looked, honestly. I really shouldn't have. We go all the way to game seven with the Yankees, and if they're not facing the Dodgers, then I'm guessing they're gonna take it here. And wow, never mind. The Padres beat the Yankees in 2021. I actually like that quite a bit. Snell, Tatis, all those dudes getting rings, I'm down. And this year we got Rich Hill and Tyler Zombro retiring. That sucks, bro. If we check it, Albert Pujols actually retires with 664 home runs. That's a bummer. I really hope this guy stays around for 700. We got him that in our Dynasty video, but still. I hope this guy stays around. Either way, the Rays got some free agents. We got Mike Zanino, we got Chris Archer, we got Michael Walker, Colin McHugh, and Chaz Rowe. All right, with all these guys being ready for the open market, let's see what the Rays will do in the offseason. Let's take a look at it. Because I know the Rays right now at 83 and 79, they need to make some changes. So I'm excited to see if they actually spend some money because for my guess, they're 100% not going to. They're cheap, so it is what it is, but I guarantee they're not going to spend any money. Looks like Roberto Perez going to the Giants. Okay, Trevor Story going to the Braves. All righty. Dansby, I guess, is just getting traded out of there or something. Now, with Syndergaard going to the Cubs? Come on. And and we get Chris Bryant. Okay, we do spend some money. Let's go. But Chris Bryant, really? That's the that's the guy we're going with? I guess, you know, that's a good upgrade at third base. I'll take it. But wow, that is one thing that I did not expect to happen. I got to be real. We legitimately just got Chris Bryant as the Tigers get Corey Seager. Okay. David Fletcher. Oh my God. David Fletcher for Jared Kelnick. Oh my goodness. Plus Marte as well. Holy crap. The M's just ripped. Trading the farm away for David Fletcher of all guys. I mean, he's good, but he's not worth two super high level prospects, but whatever. The Dodgers get Roberto Ozuna. And I think that's pretty much going to be about it. There we go. All right, 2022, we got Chris Bryant, and that's pretty much everybody else. I really don't think we got anybody different. Actually, we got Alex Avila. I'm not even going to count that, to be honest. But yeah, pretty much the only guy that we got is Chris Bryant, and I'm down for it. So again, 2022, let's go ahead and get this thing done. Let's see if Wander can actually do a little bit better than last year. His second full season, this should be good. And no way. Are you kidding? Brandon Lau is now off the team, and he's going to the Phillies of all places. We're getting De Los Santos. We're getting Daniel. We're also getting Jalen Ortiz from the Phillies. Why? Why are we trading him away? Literally, why? That makes no sense. If it's not going to be Vidal Bru... Bru... Huh? I'm so unbelievably sad right now. Of all teams, they ship him to the Dodgers for two guys I have never heard of. Who the heck is Andy Pages and Andre Jackson? It better be the combo of Jesus Christ and God himself. For Wander Franco, Neander's lost his freaking mind. I'm about to change the shirt for real. What the heck was that? And of course, the Dodgers of all teams is where he goes. That's insane. All right, well, Rays, screw you guys. It's time to go ahead and go over to the Dodgers. And here we are, the Dodgers, 66 and 26. We're doing very, very good. But I gotta say, even though Wander Franco isn't doing all that great to start the season, Season. I'm still baffled they got rid of him that quick, but he's gonna flourish in LA I can tell you guys that right now. Let's just see what happens But that straight up stings so hard as a race fan. They got rid of him in less than two seasons What the heck either way like I said, we're keeping it going with the Dodgers But my god, I know we're on the Dodgers now, but oh my god the Rays have actually lost their mind I mean they got a legitimate haul back for Randy Rosarena, but you're trading Randy Rosarena you sick bastards What the heck again the Andrews lost his mind either way. Let's keep it going dude I've said that like eight times, but still we got a new home here. We got Trevor Bauer in his vlog we got Cody Ballinger. We got a bunch of good guys here. Let's get a couple World Series W's. Okay, let's just do it. That'll make the pain go away. Let's just get some World Series dubs. And the Dodgers end up finishing off at 113 of 49 and killing it in 2022, of course. If we check it real quick, Wander Franco is a 77 overall now. This year, the guy hit quite a row bump. The guy played 92 games, had five home runs, and hit a rough 213. Not a great season for Wander, gotta be honest. Not exactly what you like to see, but hopefully next year is gonna be a lot better. Real quick though, let's see the Dodgers deal. Versus the Mets, let's see what happens. And they get killed by the Mets. Okay, again. Another L of a season for everybody involved as the Phillies beat the Twins. You know what? I'm happy for Brandon Lau, but that is insane. All right, now 22 is coming gone. Let's go ahead and get into 2023. Let's see what happens here. Buxton going to the Yankees for a max term contract over nine seasons. Oh my God. Taylor Rogers going to the Giants. Colton Wong going to the Royals. Okay. Yo, Aaron Nola going to the Angels. Yo, that's going to be massive. That should be huge out there for LA. Are the Dodgers going to get anybody? I know they don't need that many people. But wow. I'll shut up. I guess they get Bogarts. Are they really going to put Wander as a bench guy though? For real? I mean, Bogarts is great. Don't get me wrong, but wow. I did not expect Wander to just get kind of put to the side, but I guess that's what happens. Real quick, if I go and check the Dodgers, is the guy still on the team? And he is. Okay, it's just going to be the bench guy. Whatever. Let's hope the guy's a good season. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Yo, I'm just listening to Spotify and I just see this. It's constant pain. I don't even want to see it anymore. The last note goes to the Orioles of all teams. The Rays are insane. What are they doing? In a Rays fashion, less than a season, they get to Chris Bryant as well. What is going on? This is the most insane 
sim I've ever had so far. Back to the Dodgers though, we're doing great past the All-Star break, we're killing it. If I go ahead and check it real quick at the deadline, we still got Wander Franco, he is not doing too hot. Again, the Dodgers gotta trade Wander away. He does not deserve to be a bench guy. At 20 years old, the guy should either go back to the minors or just go to a team where he can actually be used as their top guy. Not him behind Bogarts because that guy's never gonna give it up. So I'm hoping at some point the Dodgers get rid of him, to be honest. Let's see what happens, second half of 2023, let's go. And no surprise, at the end of 2023, the Dodgers are still killing it, 106 and 56. If we take a look at Wander real quick, I'm hoping the guy turned around the second half, but he, I guess, kinda did. Still not great though, a 231 with three home runs and seven RBIs out of 56 games. This guy needs a new home. Please, Dodgers, I'm begging you guys. Let's see if they can at least win him a World Series real quick though. Versus the Padres for the NLDS, and they don't do it, okay. The second season in a row where the Dodgers end up losing the NLDS, that's crazy. As the Braves end up beating the Yankees, wow. All right, 2024, let this be the year that Wander gets to a different team, please. As we get Jesse Winker, okay, hold on a minute. I really don't mind that one bit, but Julio goes to the Mets. That's not good whatsoever. Shohei Otani, by the way, goes to the Diamondbacks. Gene Segura to the A's, Paul DeYoung to the Marlins, Kent Mite to the Cubs, Devers to the Nationals. Get these guys out of the NL, please. Mondesi going to the Rockies. Guys, what the heck? But here we are, opening day of 2024. Let's take a look and see if Wander's still on the team. And please tell me the guy's at a different team, and he's not, okay. He's 21, 80 overall, by the way. He's still doing okay. He's still gaining, because the guy's got any potential, but my goodness, get this guy to a different team, please. Let the guy be a starter, come on. The Dodgers get somebody else, they get Kevin Biggio, but still, Wander Franco is not dealt. It's actually crazy, they got so many good infielders, but Wander Franco is still just held hostage. And yeah, real quick, Fletcher actually goes back to the Angels, that's pretty funny. All right, real quick, here we are at the trade line of 2024. Is Wander Franco still on the Dodgers? That's the big question. If we take a look at it, he is, and he's still hitting a 219. Bro, get this guy off the team. How many times do I gotta say it? Get him off. Get him off the team. You guys understand what I'm saying, but still, what the heck? We keep it moving. Also, the Rays, residential last place. I wonder why. The idiots got rid of everybody. Literally every single person they could have had. The Dodgers in 2024 finish off at 99 and 63. Of course, one of the NL West once again. They won by 16 games. Just an absolute dynasty over there. It's ridiculous. Wander, come on. Let's see how you did. Don't let me down here. A 293. There we go. Came back a little bit. A 293, five home runs, and 13 RBIs at almost 60 at bats. Played 51 games, but I can't help but think that his talent's being wasted out there in LA. Still good though. If I check the awards, we got Framo. Reyes with the MVP. Okay, the AL's going crazy. And then the NL, we got Cody Bellinger winning it three times in a row. DeGrom, of course, with the Cy Young. Shane Bieber as well in the AL. Bellinger with the batting title. Corey Seager with the batting title. Honestly, good stuff from everybody. Let's go. All right, LDS time versus the Cubs. Please don't lose. And they lose it. Okay. That is literally three seasons in a row where they've lost it in the NLDS. What type of curse have those guys got for real? Also, real quick, in 2025, this is the first season that Wander's going to have arbitration. This could actually be very, very big right here. Let's see what happens. Let's see if Wander actually gets paid right here. It's going to be funny. Let's go ahead and go past December 2nd. Let's see what he gets. I really hope the guy gets something, but he's also been a bench guy for a couple seasons as Shane Bieber goes to the Giants. That's not good. As John Means also signs for a hundred plus million dollars. This world's crazy, bro. All right, if I go ahead and check it, this man just got paid four million. There we go. And I'd say that's a lot of money for a bench guy, but the Dodgers piss out four million dollars, so they're fine. It doesn't really matter. But here we go, 2025. Let's hope the Wander has a good season and or goes to a different team. Come on. I've said it for the last three seasons, but get this man off the Dodgers. Let him go to a team like the Reds or the White Sox or something. Somebody like that. Somebody that could actually use them and develop them into a star. Let's hope it happens, because my God, it's getting irritating. It's the trade line of 2025. Let's go ahead and check Wander. The guy right now is sitting at 217, and he's still held hostage by the Dodgers. Let's just hope it gets better in the second half. The Dodgers in 2025 finish off 102 and 60, obviously. They're still going to be great, but please don't lose the NLDS for the fourth year in a row. If I check it, Wander Frank goes down an 87 overall, and please tell me the guy got turned in the second half. And he did the exact opposite, actually. He hit at 167 with zero bombs. We're down bad, guys. We are down so so bad. All right, Dodgers, please don't lose the Cardinals. And they don't. Thank goodness. The Cubs now in the NLCS. And they lost it. Okay. Cubs, please win this one. Or the Angels. That's fine too. Mike Trout gets a ring. Let's go. All right, here we go. Off season. Wander Franco again has another year of arbitration as Jordan Alvarez, the god himself, goes to the Giants. The Giants are building a team down there. I'm getting worried. Or I should say up there because they're in San Francisco, but still. Can Wander Franco please have some freedom? Like, legit, everybody is going to different teams. Brady Singer to the Twins. Like, there's so many players going to different teams. Please just let this guy have some freedom. And we end up shipping Jesse Winker out of the building. That is not good. For two guys that are nowhere near Jesse Winker's level, too. That is stupid. Okay. We keep it going. The Pirates get Chris Sale. And let's go ahead and see real quick what Wander got this year for arbitration. Wander, you had a horrible season, but did you get a bag? Let's take a look. And no, he went down to 3.2 million. I mean, still, that's fantastic. But at this point, you'd expect Wander to be in like the tens of millions because I think he's got that potential, but he's just stuck with LA. All right, 2026 getting started now. Another season and another year that we hope that Wander gets traded out of LA. Come on. I'm going to be so hyped when I see that come across my screen. Real quick, the all-star break. Wander Frank goes an 89 overall right now at 23 years old. And how's the guy doing? A 240 
44 with two home runs and 41 at bats. This is so criminal. They're not letting this guy go. They could get so many great guys and they're just holding on to that asset for whatever reason. The God Alejandro Kirk goes to the Rockies. Okay. Welcome to the NL West as Garrett Hampson comes back to the Rockies too. Why are the Rockies so active? What the heck? In 2026, the Dodgers end up finishing off at 91 and 71. Probably the worst they've ever done it in a long, long time. If we go ahead and check the boys, Wander's on 91 and he's hitting a 233. Again, the guy's got crazy potential, but they're just holding him back so much. Real quick, the awards, Jordan Alvarez. Oh my God. 48 home runs, but Glaber, by the way, I feel like Glaber should have won if I'm being real. A 325 with 50 home runs for Glaber Torres. How do you not win with that? Chris Pack with a Cy Young. Again, doesn't make sense because Shane Bieber did way better. This game's tripping. You guys have already seen that multiple times, but yeah, this game's out of its mind. Either way, we're facing the Brewers and Glaber Torres. Let's see if we get beat out again in the NLDS. And we don't. There we go. We actually sweep it. There we are. Where's the Cardinals on the NLCS? Okay, we're going to the World Series. The first time since 2020, literally. We're going to the World Series. Let's get Wander a ring, please. And to make it even better, it's the Battle of LA. For game one, we got Walker Bueller going up. Lost that one. Okay, hate to see that. John Means versus DL Hall. Lost that one again. Okay, a quick 0-2 to the Angels. Tony Gossam versus Griffin. Won that one. Dennis Santana versus Tyler Glass now. Lost that one by one. And the Walker Bueller going up against Aaron Nola for possibly the last game of the series unless we take this W. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. John Means versus Dale Hall. Won that one. And then Trevor Bauer versus Jamie Berea. Come on, Dodgers. Get Wonder a World Series ring for literally just being a prisoner of LA. Come on. Let's see what they can do. And there we go, baby. The Dodgers end up taking it. And Wander wins his first World Series ring in 2026. He also had a pretty good playoff run, if you look at it. Hit a 261, had no home runs with four RBIs. Not bad for the dude. We'll take it. And also, if we go ahead and check it, we have Bryant Packard as the World Series MVP. And then also Kevin Biggio for the postseason MVP. Let's go and get to the offseason real quick. All right, Wander Franco. This year is going to his last season of arbitration. This is normally where you get paid a little bit more. Normally the average for like the last year arbitration is around $8 million, if not a little bit more. Let's go ahead real quick and see how much he gets. It should be a decent amount as Debbie Garcia signs a massive contract with the Mets. Legit, that is ridiculous. Gavin Lux as well signed a gigantic deal. We're getting sledgers. Okay, the God himself coming over here. Also, we get Nick Madrigal over at second base. I guess Wander can't play second. Like what the heck is going on here? Oh, here we go. Xander Bogarts. Bogarts actually goes to the Phillies. This might be Wander's time to shine here. Come on, baby. It's our time. Time. Let's see if he gets paid as a starter though, real quick. If I go and check it, he should be paid very, very well this season. And never mind, $5 million. But the guy is finally going to be the starter. Thank God. Let's see if Wander can help the Dodgers go back to back. And also, real quick, midseason, Wander Franco's a 93 overall. He's finally a starter. Let's hope the guy's actually taking advantage of that and doing good. Let's see. And there we go, baby. Doing exactly what I thought he would do if he was actually given the chance. The poor guy was on the bench for one, two, three, four, five seasons. And this year, he finally gets a starting job and is doing fantastic. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to forgive the Dodgers in this video for literally wasting five years of Wander Franco's career. But the guy's still 24, which is insane. Either way, he's still doing good. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. And let's see if the Dodgers can end up going back to back. And the Dodgers actually don't even make the postseason in 2027. How did we even finish up? They finished in fourth place. How did the Dodgers go from winning the World Series to fourth place? Literally, how does that happen? Either way, Wander Franco out of 156 games, hit 23 doubles, 30 home runs, 85 RBIs, and had a 278. Also, real quick for the war, had a 6.3. Just in time for for him to get a contract. Let's see if the Dodgers are actually going to pay to keep him. Diamondbacks beat the White Sox. This game goes crazy in 2027. The Diamondbacks with Shohei Otani and all those crazy guys win the World Series, which is insane. But good for them. Happy for them. And now let's go ahead and watch Wander get a bag real quick. First off, I want to see, and there he is. Okay. And Wander Franco is the second highest guy in this free agent class behind Adley Rutschman. And he's getting offered a $217 million contract with the Dodgers. Wander, I'm going to be honest here. Don't take it, please. Just don't take it. I want to see this guy go to a different team, if I'm being real. After what they did to him, I just want to see him go to a different team. Adley Rutschman, by the way, goes to the Indians. Wander, where the heck you going? He's going to the Astros. Are you serious? We're going to Houston, I guess. Let's hope that Wander can actually turn the tides over there in Houston as we get Jesse Biddle as well. But wow, in Houston of all teams, that's crazy. They swooped in though. I got to give it to them. They swooped in and stole him from the Dodgers. Well, now I'm excited to see how he does in the Astros. Let's go and get 2028 going. All right, here's the first leg of Wander Franco in the Astros lineup. And the Astros got a low key great team. They still got Bregman. They got Manuel. They got Wander Franco. They got Colin Moore and they got David. A doll. I actually like where this team's at right now. Let's see how Wander can actually do with them. We're going to go ahead and go the full season of 2028 and we're going to see how these guys do. Real quick at the All Star game, I feel like I got to check it. We're actually at T Mobile Park for this one. And if I check it, Wander Franco is a starting shortstop in the All Star game. And Wander's actually going crazy in Houston. A 318, 22 home runs, and 77 RBIs already at the halfway point of this season. My God, this guy's such a beast. He's also got a 599 slugging percentage. What the heck, Wander? And of course, they go and take the All Star game. And what a letdown. At the end of 2028, the Astros end up finishing off at 70. 
78 and 84. In the second year straight, that wanted does not make the postseason. You hate to see it. Let's go ahead and see real quick who wins it though. And it's going to be the Padres versus the Angels. Wow. And Gigi the Padres, they take it again. But let's see real quick how our boy, they Wander Franco, he was injured for the second half. God dang it. He's a 97 overall though at 25. Out of 115 games, had 22 doubles, 27 home runs, 88 RBIs, and almost a 300 average. The guy was going to have a career season. All right, again, off season time. Let's run it back. I'll see you guys in 2029. All right, in 2029, we got Wander Franco back healthy and ready to go. And we also have an aging Alex Bregman. He's 35 this year. This is going to be the time where he actually goes down quite a bit. So hopefully we have some plan ready at some point because I want to see Wander in the postseason. I really do. I really think all you guys do, obviously. So hopefully the Astros don't choke it. Either way, 2029, let's get it going. And I'll see you guys at the end of the year unless anything crazy happens. Oh, here we go. October 2029, Houston. They're playing game 163. They're playing the Angels too. Let's see who wins it. And sadly, we don't. But somehow we're going to the wild card game. Okay. Don't exactly know how that happened, but hey, we'll take it. At this point, you guys already know the deal. Real quick, we got to go and check and see how Juan Franco did. 44 doubles, 10 triples, 33 home runs, 109 RBIs, and a 291 for the dude. Set a record with slugging and almost, almost there with OPS. But he ended up setting his war record at 7.4. Craziness. And sadly, God dang it, we end up losing the Red Sox in the wild card game. You hate to see it, dude. And in 2029, the Marlins of all teams make it. Let's go. They take the World Series over the Angels. Go for the Marlins. That's one team that I'm happy that won it. Oh my God, and there we go. 2029, it looks like Mike Trout is done. He ends up finishing off his career at 2,500 hits, 564 home runs, and a 308 on the average. Also, Freddie Freeman at 2,670 hits, almost 440 home runs with a 295. Enjoy your retirement, you two goats, okay? And let's go ahead and see what happens real quick in this offseason. This could be a season where Juan Franco actually gets dealt somewhere. I would actually not be surprised if that happened. Let's take a look. That was the race get Riley Green, okay. Oh, and CJ Abrams, a nine-year $225 million deal. That guy got paid, bro. And if I take a look at it, Wander is still a 97. We gotta get this guy to a 99. And it was age 27 season. Let's see how he does. 569 seconds later. And from the looks of it, another sad season in Houston. We end up finishing off 81 and 81. And let's take a look real quick at Wander did. Wander hit 38 home runs. Wander, you God. Still a 97 overall though. The guy can't get past 97. But still Wander, amazing. 156 games, 30 doubles, five triples, 38 home runs, 111 RBIs. And honestly, was just cracked the entire season. Let's go, Wander. Sadly though, the team didn't make it the postseason. Come on. Also real quick, Garrett Cole going to the Hall of Fame. 208 wins, almost 3,000 innings, 3,000 strikeouts, and a 3.11 ERA on the career. Godlike, bro. Absolutely godlike. All right, free agency time. Let's go and see what happens real quick. Ooh, Julio Rodriguez going to the Rays. Let's go. I'm happy about that one. All right, 2031, and my God, Alex Bregman is on the bench now. The guy's 37. He lost his starting job. Ooh, sorry about that, Alex, but it's just what happens, I guess. But we are fully in the new decade. Let's hope that this team's got some good pitching this year. Let's hope that the hitters show up, and let's please get to the postseason. Wander's already got one championship, but let's get him some more. Come on. Oh my God, I know I've been coming back whenever big things happen, and a big thing just happened. We got Jason Dominguez. Now, granted, he's hitting 245 and has three home runs, but let's not worry about that. We got Jason Dominguez. Let's hope that he can actually do good on this team because right now we're looking okay, but it is still a little bit sketchy. Wander Franco doing amazing. Everybody else doing as good as they can do. Alex Bregman on the bench still and losing overall points like crazy, dude. This poor guy is done. Let's see how the rest of 2031 treats us. Oh, and Houston showed up and showed out this year. 94 and 68. The boys did good. Jason Dominguez came back. Wander Franco did very, very good, of course. The guy's been crazy consistent ever since he became a starter for the 284 or 31 home runs. Also, what are the awards looking like? As a Ray gets the MVP. Okay, Alexander, good job. Yo, Forrest Whitley as well with the Cy Young. 16 and 6 with a 3.08. And also real quick, Wander Franco ends up taking home the Silver Slugger for shortstop. Good job, baby. All right, we move. We go into the postseason versus Kansas City. Here we go. The 2031 LDS versus Kansas City. Come on, boys. Don't choke it. And they don't. Beautiful. Next up, LCS time versus the White Sox. And we somehow lose that. Are you kidding me? God dang it, dude. And the White Sox going to win it. Holy crap. Wow. It was actually the White Sox versus the Cubs in the World Series. That's kind of crazy. But again, GG to the White Sox. God dang it. And this year for the inductees, we got Nolan Arenado. More studs are leaving us, boys. It's a sad sign. Also, real quick, if I go and check it, Wander's about to make so much freaking money these next two seasons. 36.4 and $40 million. Again, like I said, I would not be surprised if he gets traded at some point within these next two years. Let's see what happens. Happens, that was the free agency time. Let's hope the Astros actually get like maybe one or two more pitchers. Let's see if they actually go out and do that real quick. And they actually do. Sean Reed Foley though. Not exactly what I had in mind. And they also get Grant Gavin, a guy with a 4.69. Two pitches that I'm not excited for. Okay. All right, opening day of 2032. And we're still trucking, baby. Let's see how this year treats the Astros. And at the end of 2032, we finish off 89 and 74. And we're taking on the Twins in the wild card game. We already know what's about to happen. Wonder how'd you do? Oh my God. He's actually starting to lose a couple overall points, which is a little bit stupid because the year this 
guy put in is something ridiculous. A career season for the guy. Almost 40 home runs, 122 RBIs, and a 331. This is MVP type Wander right here. Let's see if he got it. Please tell me he did it. And there we go. He won his first MVP. MVP Wander, baby. We're not worthy. Won the batting title too, obviously. And the Hank Aaron Award. Just got everything. Just legit everything. Gold glove, maybe? No. Okay, sadly. Silver slugger, definitely though. 100%. There we go. Let's see if the team can actually make a run in the postseason. Forrest, don't let me down. And he does. Okay. Another sad season, but I'm happy that Wander got so many accolades. But still, I want this guy to win more chips, for real. Real quick, the inductees for 2032 is Bryce Harper, the guy. Oh my goodness. 562 on the home runs. Again, amazing. Another icon. Enjoy retirement, my guy. We're about to enjoy $40 million that Wander Franco's about to make this season. This dude's going to make so much freaking money. Let's see if the Astros will actually afford it, too. That's going to be the big question as we get Abraham Toro back here. Okay. And it looks like the Astros are keeping Wander. Okay. He's about to make $40 million this season. 2033, let's go and get this thing going. Oh, Oh and my God, the Astros, 67 to 95. What a turnaround and not in a good way, one bit. Oh my goodness. Did Wander still do good? He's not even in the top three here. That doesn't really mean much though, gotta be honest. Let's see who got the Silver Slugger and he came in second. Okay, O'Neill Cruz did very, very good. Wander Franco though, 315, 30 home runs and 118 RBIs, but the Astros sucked this season as the Marlins beat the Orioles. Oh my God. Seeing this right now in 2021 is ridiculous, dude. But again, Marlins, they win another one. You know what's actually insane? The Marlins have won more World Series than Wander Franco. That should straight up be illegal. I'm sorry, but that should be. And we got three guys. Okay, Christian Yelich, Manny Machado, and Xander Bogarts all going to the Hall of Fame. Again, GG boys. But this is about to be a big year because Wander Franco looks, never mind. Oh yeah, there we go. Wait, Wander Franco's losing so many overall points. Why? He's 31. He should be fine. This guy went down to a 92 overall. What the heck is he? What's going on here? Why? And he's actually about to get paid from the Astros. Wander, please listen to me. Do not do this, okay? Go to a different team. Go to a team that can win. Come on, baby. Do not, for the life of you, go back to the Astros. Let's see if he's actually going to listen to me. Come on. Come on, Wander. Just don't go back. Just don't freaking go back. Got Tristan. Got Levy. Got Bobby Witt going to the Twins. Bro, Wander is freaking me out. I can guarantee he's back in the Astros too. Just because of the fact he has not signed a contract track yet, I can guarantee he's back on the stupid Astros. I'm not gonna let myself get too excited as he's right here. Okay, sign another five-year contract. Well, it looks like we're staying with the Astros for a little bit longer, boys. All right, let's hope they can do good for the boy because I want this guy back in the postseason. In 2034, it looks like Houston again is gonna choke it at 83 and 79. They don't get the boy back to the playoffs. And honestly, another dud of a season as the Reds beat the Angels. Again, for 2034, Juan Franco is still going down. It really doesn't make sense because the guy still hit 30 home runs. The guy still hit 290 and had 33 doubles. I'm thinking this game actually has to do with Elm be service time instead of actual age because what it's looking like is the more MLB service time you have the worse you get actually like I always thought it was just purely age but it's actually MLB service time because the age is fine Wander's still killing it but MLB the show is literally killing his career at 13 years in MLB because this stupid game thinks he's like 36 years old because that's like normally the MLB service time of a 36 year old if they're lucky so that makes a lot more sense it just sucks that this game is choking right now but right now here's the hoping that we get off the Astros come on baby trade us away come on just do it you guys know you want to it's way too much money, right? We're doing bad. We're losing a lot of overall points, right, guys? Let's go and get us off the team. It's okay. We're not going to be mad about it. We understand. It's business, baby. We 100% get it, and it's not going to happen. God dang it, dude. All right, 2035. Let's go and get to it. And oh my god, the Astros. Again, get me off this team, please. I'm begging you at this point. We are 21 and 47. We're down so bad. All right, here we go. July. Astros, just implode, okay? Rebuild. Just do it. It'll be way better, I promise. Ship me to a good team, okay? Let's see. It's a deadline. You guys got one more day. Are we going anywhere? There's a lot of trades happening, and we're staying on the team. Okay. Oh my God. And look at this. Wander Franco, 32 years old. And it looks like he's 48. He's an 82 overall. He's regressing so much. This should be the prime of his entire career. And this game is legit killing the poor guy. Again, red flag MLB. What are you doing? And in 2035, the Astros finish off at 68 and 94. Just more sadness as the Angels beat the Marlins in 2035. But still more sadness. 2035, who's going to the, oh my goodness. Juan Soto going to the Hall of Fame. Corey Seager and Ian Happ all going. Good job, guys. And again, we're going back. We're grinding again. Let's hope the 2036 is going to be a little bit better. And coming in the 2036, Wander Franco is 33 years old and an 81 overall. If this guy dips to 70 overall this season, I might actually cry. No lie. Because it would be actually ridiculous what this game does to this man. Either way, let's get to it. Somehow we're off to an amazing start. Okay. I guess the Astros did some work and we're going from worst to first type situation, but we'll see what happens. And real quick at the treadmill line, I got to check it. Is he a 70 overall? And don't tell me. Don't tell me. Wait, where is he? Wander, where'd you go? My guy's missing. Wander, where are you? Wander, where the heck did you go? And where did they send you? I mean, I'm happy they sent you somewhere, but where? That's the big question because it's about to be either insanely good or horrible. Wander, where the heck 
are you? The White Sox. Okay, that's not too bad. And he's a 76 overall. That hurts, dude. And he's doing good too this season. Come on, guys. Well, it looks like we're going to the White Sox, boys. 55 and 48. Okay, not bad. And this year in 2036, the White Sox do not make it to the postseason once again. I'm pretty sure it's the third or fourth season that Wander Franco has not made it to the postseason as the Marlins again. Winning three World Series this year against the Blue Jays. Again, the Marlins have more World Series wins than Wander Franco. Real quick, we check it. He didn't retire, which is a good sign. And absolutely nobody got inducted to the Hall of Fame. Okay, hate to see that. All right, let's see how this goes. I'll see you guys back in 2037. And I'm just really hoping for a Wander Franco revival, but I don't know if it's going to happen. I mean, this game is dead set on making this guy suck. So we'll see how it goes. But 2037, here we go. The farthest I've ever made it, by the way, in this game so far. And I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Like I said, you guys got to get comfy. It's a long one. And it definitely has been. My goodness. And over on the White Sox, we're 84 and 80. And we just played two crazy games right here, taking on the A's. Let's hope that we can actually make it far in the postseason with Wander. Come on. And we do. Perfect. Okay. Now it's time for the LDS versus the Rangers. Come on, boys. There we go. LCS time versus the Royals. Oh my God, it's actually happening. Here we go. World Series time versus the Phillies. Come on, dude. Okay. It's 3-2 White Sox. Let's get Wander one more ring. Come on. Right here. Let it happen. There we go, baby. And the White Sox defeated the Phillies in the 2037 World Series. If I go and check the awards real quick, we got Francisco Alvarez for the World Series MVP, and we also got Francisco Alvarez for the postseason. Okay. Wander, how the heck did you do? And oh my God, he's so far down here, dude. Come on. He's really so far down here. He's a 69 overall. He had two at-bats. I mean, he got a second ring, but dude, he's 34. This should not be happening. But again, he got a second ring. Very, very good. And I really don't know how much longer he's going to be in the MLB because it's legit getting sketchy out here. Oh God, don't tell me. Here we go. I checked the White Sox for 2038 and Wander Franco is not here and there's no way of changing his position. So this guy is on a completely different team. Where the heck are you? Please tell me you're at least on a team. Come on. And Wander Franco is on the Mariners now. Okay. looks like we're going to Seattle. If we check Seattle, he's still on the bench. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's see how Franco can do in Seattle. All right. At the trade line in 2038, looks like the Mariners are 48 and 56. If I go and check the lineup for the boys, is Wander still here? If I check it, he is not. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't don't tell me. If we check the minor leagues. Is this man here? And it looks like he isn't. Okay, he's not even on the Mariners anymore. This dude's straight up changing teams like Edwin Jackson over here. What the heck? Wonder, where the heck did you go now? Nowhere. He literally went nowhere. He is now a free agent and didn't even get to play one game. That's literally so sad. He's 35 years old. He's not that bad. I mean, I am on the Rays and I could bring him back, but I feel like this is Wander Franco's career simulation. We really can't touch anything. We can't get in the way or anything. So honestly, it looks like Wander Franco is just not going to find an LB team for the rest of the season. Let's hope that the guy can find one next year, but wow. Again, Again, it should be criminal, but wow. In 2038, the Padres beat the A's. Well, let's hope that Juan Franco can actually go out and find a team in 2039. All right, the opening day of 2039. Let me go ahead and check real quick where the heck Wander Franco is. Where's this man at? And he's still a free agent. Okay, it looks like he's done. It's looking like Wander is going to go ahead and be done here. I hope he makes the Hall of Fame, but I really don't know at this point. In 2039, we got the Rangers beating the Mets for the World Series. And please don't tell me that my guy Wander Franco retired. If I go down to the Fs, we're looking good. Okay, we're fine. He's still going to be here for a little bit longer as Vidal Brujan actually ends up retiring. That actually sucks a whole lot, but he went on to have a pretty successful career. All right, if I go over to the shortstops, where is Wander Franco? He's a 58. Oh my goodness. I already said it, but I really hope Wander doesn't retire, but it's looking like it. You know what? Screw it. For one season, I'm bringing Wander Franco back to the Rays. Let's hope that Wander Franco still remembers how to hit a ball because it's been a while. All right, come on, baby. 2040, let's run it up. And never mind. The Rays finish off at 78 and 84. And who the heck's going to take in 2040? The Mets do against the Yankees. And I got to give it to him. Wander Franco's still sticking around. He did not retire yet. At least I think so. Let me go down real quick to the Fs. Oh my God. I saw Franco and freaked out, but it's Julian Franco. Yeah, he's still going to be here for another season. I don't know why, but it is what it is, I guess. The guy's sticking around. How the heck did this guy do, by the way? A 125. Wow. At least the guy hit a bomb, but still. All right, here we go again. 2041. Did the race on back wander? Let's take a look. And they did not. He's back in the Frasian pool, still sticking around at 38 years old. All right, in 2041, the Giants beat the Rangers for the World Series. And let's see if this is going to sadly be the season where Wander Franco ends up retiring. Let's take a look. If I go down to the Fs, let's take a look. And he's still going to play. I mean, that's actually nuts. What the heck are you doing, bro? Again, if we check Wander Fernando Tatis Jr., by the way, 43 years old and 58 overall. He also hasn't played since 2037. And Wander Franco, oh my God. Oh my God, a 53 overall. It's literally so freaking sad to see. Since I gotta do it April 2042 now. Did Wander somehow find a team? I already know the answer, but let's take a look. And he didn't. He's 39 years old. Let's see if 2042 is gonna be the final season of Wander Franco. All right, 2042, the Rangers keep going, dude. Again, GG to them, but I cannot believe they're actually still going. And if I take a look at the retired players, let's see if Wander Franco is here once again. What are we thinking? You guys think he actually did it or no? Let's take a look. Franco, Wendell Franco. Are you kidding me, dude? Wendell Franco retired, and we're still gonna keep going. Oh, 
my goodness, Wander, just hang it out, my guy. I'm dying out here. It's been four hours, and you haven't played in five years. What the heck is this man's overall now? A 50. It's literally a 50 overall. Dude, you're 40. Go have a family or something. Just, you're fine, okay? You don't have to play baseball anymore. It's okay. You made probably 200 plus million dollars. It's okay. If we check it again in 2043, Wander Franco's still here for some reason. Let's go ahead and see who wins this World Series, and let's see if Wander ends up retiring this year. All right, 2043, the Rangers again beat the Mets. Yo, what the heck is going on with them? I gotta check their team real quick after I see if Wander retired. Wander, how we feeling this year, baby? Are the knees okay? Everything all good? If we go down to the Fs, Wander Franco has officially retired from Major League Baseball. At the ripe age of 41 years old, he was a 46 overall and was on the decline for the last, let me check, one, two, three, four, five, six years. Absolute craziness. And real quick before I go ahead and exit out of this, in case this is the last time I can look at it, Wander Franco finished off his career with a 281 average, had 336 home runs, 1,147 RBIs, and a career war of 67.6. Very, very solid. Had a fantastic career before I'm with the show, just ruined the entire thing. And he did not make it to the Hall of Fame. God dang it. But real quick, before we go ahead and leave it, I gotta check the Rangers. What the heck do they have here? They got Tyler Cecil, Floyd Stewart, Oswaldo. I have no clue the heck any of these guys are. They're all new. They got Michael. Okay, never mind. I thought Michael Chavis was a third baseman, but heck no. He's a 36-year-old closing pitcher, and their team looks very, very weird. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this thing. To all the people that watch this entire thing. You guys are the absolute MVPs. Just know I love all you guys. And again, if you guys want to see more of these, leave a like on the video, subscribe down below, and tell me in the comments. That's the best way to tell me. Also, we're on the road to 50k. It would mean the world if you guys could help me out there if you guys are not subscribed. And besides that, I'll see you guys later. Oh my goodness. I'm going straight to bed. Have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.